subscribe. Hi everybody and welcome back. My name's Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Today is a quick video on how to reach on the violin for the higher positions. Um, this video has been requested a couple of times. Um, I'm sorry I can't remember who it was um, that has asked or what video or that kind of thing, but it has been requested. So I thought um, it might be something that I might want to address anyway, because it's a lot of, it will help a lot of you out there. So this is what I mean is for when you're going into anything other than first position. So your first position is here where you normally are then when you're moving up to say third position fourth fifth sixth whatever you have to slightly change the position of the thumb on your hand to be able to get up to reaching the really high notes so when you're in first position I normally say that the thumb should be um, I like to hold the violin or hold the neck of the violin with the sort of flat part of my my thumb there I don't have my thumb up because then I can't move so easily so I like to have it sort of held almost sort of you know, like I was pushing my thumb into the violin. And then it needs to be directly um, opposite the, the first finger. So wherever the first finger is, generally, is where the thumb needs to be. Now that's fine when you're in first position, but when you're moving up into third position, the thumb is gonna go with it. I don't want to go too much into how to change positions and that sort of thing, so I've done a separate video on that. Just wanna to talk to you about trying to get up to the rafters here, or trying to play in the heavens, as it's, it's other commonly known as well. So when you get beyond the point where your hand won't go anymore here and you can't move up, which will probably take you to what, third, fourth, maybe fifth or so roughly position. And let's just say you've, you've got a note up here, maybe you've got a harmonic or you've got whatever you're doing, you're doing something up here towards this area. So you're, you're fairly near the bridge. Now what you then need to do, you need to keep the idea of, of having having the violin or having the neck of the violin with your thumb. But what you always need to do is, is swing your thumb and swing your hand round so that you can grab the side of the violin. So you can you see that, I mean, I'm, I am making a bit of a bit of a, a, a meal of things here and it wouldn't quite, I wouldn't quite be sweeping across if I was actually playing in a concert. Don't get me wrong. But, but when I'm sort of, I'm trying to demonstrate the movement here. So when you've got your thumb, you're swinging your thumb, thumb round. Can you see my whole hand? is coming, if I do it from this side, my whole arm, my whole elbow is coming up. Again, I'm making a massive meal of things and I wouldn't actually be playing like this in concert, but I'm just showing you the, the kind of the movement that, it's all, that, you've got, that, that you're having to do. So I'm sort of swinging from the neck of, I'm just holding the violin up here so I can show you, but I'm sort of swinging from that, from that thumb there. So if I was gonna go up, up here, the G string and the D string are hardest to do, but what I would do is just, um, I would just have my thumb attached to the violin here, I'd be holding the violin, I haven't got a bow with me, but what I would do then is just reach up around. So really, my whole wrist and my hand would actually be up here. So this is what it would look like. So you're gonna have to keep your thumb there at all points. So you see you've got the little kind of knobbly bit that you get here where the, um, where the neck reaches the body of the violin. I'm sort of against that bit now, but if I was up on the E string, it's not too bad because I'm I'm using my thumb as leverage there on the bit that I just spoke about. And then I can easily reach up with my fourth finger, second finger, um, third finger and all that kind of thing up, up here. But over on the G string, then you're actually having to sort of lift your hand round. My hand isn't touching any part of the violin, by the way, I can sort of push my other hand through. So my other, my, this hand, the finger hand, left hand isn't actually touching any part of the violin because I want it to be free. But you're literally, you're literally kind of anchoring your thumb here against there so you can you can move the fingerings. It's very, very hard, hard work, folks. I won't lie to you. Um, I've played a piece of music called The Moses Fantasy by Paganini and that's where um, good old Paganini decided to write an entire piece of music all on the G string. And believe me, it is ridiculous when you're playing some notes that should otherwise be up here on the E string. And I mean, it's it's insane, but we are, you're literally playing about a centimeter away from the end of, of the actual fingerboard and, you know, and that, that kind of thing. And it's it's very, very hard to do. And it does put a bit, a bit of strain on your wrist, but it's no more than, it's just something that you just have to get used to. As long as it's a good pain and not a bad pain, if you know what I mean. You don't wanna, you don't wanna be having shooting pains going up and down your arm and that sort of thing. You're obviously not doing something, something quite right. So just, just be careful folks when, when you're doing this. Um, you know, I don't wanna, 
I suppose a bit, of, a bit of a disclaimer here, but you shouldn't have any problems. I've never heard of anybody having any problems, but as long as you're doing it right, you want to be levering from that thumb and up and up and round. And then you're sort of, if, if you look at other violinists on YouTube that are playing up, up in the rafters and things, you will notice the hand does look a bit kind of, it does look a bit weird in a way. This is what my hand would just look like from, from these angles. So yeah, it does look a bit odd that the hand is like engulfing and, and like practically eating the whole front body of the violin here, but that's what it's gonna look like. So it's all about your thumb. Don't have your thumb anywhere else. You can't have your thumb anywhere else. Have it, make sure it's, it's, it is sitting on the neck of the violin. And if it needs to, it sort of sits in that sort of crook bit there. You can almost see where, where my, um, where the neck of the violin is. It's a lighter shade of wood. And then it just goes into sort of a darker bit of wood here. So I wanna be just sort of in that crevice there. So it's all about the thumb. And it's all about the thumb from that angle, almost as if you're you're sort of pushing something, pushing a piece of blue tack onto the wall. It's it's that kind of thing. So with the very pad of your thumb, and then you are, you, when you're there, you're as far as the thumb will go in that little kind of that nice little nook that you've got there, and then you can just lift your hand up and round, and you're ready to play right up in the rafters or in the heavens or you know, all the way up here and all that kind of stuff. So that is how to reach up to the, the higher register and the higher octave and the higher positions of the violin. So I hope that's helped you folks. Um, just a quick little video there. Um, please subscribe to my videos, leave a comment underneath if you want to add anything or want to ask a question, that kind of thing. And I will try my best to get back to you. Um, if not, maybe someone else can, can answer the question if they get in there before me. But thanks very much for watching and I shall see you all next time. Subscribe.